As protests across the Middle East have gotten headlines from Egypt to Yemen, Tunisia to Syria, unrest in Saudi Arabia, though on a much smaller scale, has attracted much less attention. That changed earlier this month when dozens of students at King Khalid University in the south of the country were injured as they protested conditions at the school. Protests have also taken place in other cities, according to the Arab Network for Human Rights Information. For more, we're joined by Shaima Al Mahdi. She's a student from King Khalid University in Aba. She was one of the protesters and is a spokesperson for the female students there. We're reaching her now as she travels in the U.S. Welcome to FSRN. Hi. Hi, welcome. Um, Shaima, first begin with telling us what are your primary concerns or demands as students at the King Khalid University? Uh, the first and most important demand uh, is that the president uh, of King Khalid University has to step down. The other demands are attached to uh, maintenance buildings, uh, services, and library. Can you imagine that we don't have a library in my college? However, uh, the government has paid billions, but the corruption has uh, diffused uh, in the university. And Shaima Mahdi, can you give us a little background? Why do you want the president to step down? Uh, first of all, we have been suffering uh, for that day we started studying at King Khalid University. The supervisors deal with us with uh, arrogance and indignantly seeing that the deanship office has empowered them. The beginning of the problem, we had left uh, in the middle of waste, then we went to meet uh, the dean, but uh, she refused, and she has never met us. The day after, we received a broadcast from students that says we have to gather and um, and go to the dean, but she closed the doors, and we couldn't reach her. The next day, the supervisors took the girl from her hair because they guessed that she was the leader. However, all of uh, all of the students object and objected, and the chaos had been started. Well, you're starting to describe some of the response uh, from the university to your demands. But before we get into that, yeah. the other concern you mentioned was the facilities at the school. You said you don't have a library there. Is that right? Yes, we don't have. So, without a library, where do you go to study? Where do you meet to to do your studies? We have to find any library out uh, out uh, the out the campus. Getting into some of the response from the university there, how has uh, the university responded to these meetings, to your calls for demands? What has the reaction been like? Uh, Prince Faisal, who is the governor of Asia region, has met us, and I represent College of Arts. The next day, he complied. So he complied to, to, to your demands, or he, he complied to exactly what? Yes, for all our demands. And when was that? The next day. Oh, okay, the next day, which was last week, is that right? Yes. So when do you expect those changes to be available to students, or when do you expect the changes to take place? As soon as possible, I think. Now, according to the Arab Network for Human Rights Information, the response from security forces to some student protests has been the death of of one female student and the injury of 54 others. Do you know where this took place, and and can you confirm that taking place? Okay, uh, I confirm that no one was killed, and the students who had been injured uh, uh, were just fleeing during the evacuation. No one was killed. And how many people were injured? Uh, 50. Maybe 50, 50 students. And were there any other arrests? Is there anybody still detained? No. Why do you think the, uh, the prince acquiesced or agreed to your terms, um, whereas in other places when students ask for for changes, it's very difficult to get the changes. What was different about where you were? I think because he believes that uh, it's our rights. And uh, he declares that. 
We've heard reports of protests made at other universities and the response to that, such as the student at the Taiba University in Medina who was reportedly expelled. Um, do you have any information on that or the activities at other campuses? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, however, a couple of universities have joined us to support our demands. Also, they have been suffering from the same reasons. Shaima al is a student from King Khalid University in Abba. She was chosen to be a spokesperson for the female students. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, and, and uh, I appreciate that.